Okay, this morning it's relatively cool in the greenhouses. It's a, this thermometer says an air temperature is 105. Water temperature is in the mid 80s, which is good for the fish. Uh, we are working a new strain that I call uh, sky blue dragon blood. They're descended from dragon bloods. We started raising dragon bloods in 2014 and 2015 and we got two different batches of them. It's kind of a frustrating fish. Uh, hard to maintain the color. Uh, we're making progress. This fish I split out uh, from our red dragon bloods in September of 2020, which was before or was after Har Hurricane Harvey, but before the Texas winter storm. We lost a lot, well, basically we lost all our breeders during the Texas winter storm. We had a relatively small breeding colony. We had two males and 26 females. They produced only 193 juveniles. There are quite a few fry in the vat, small fish in the vat. Uh, I've added 13 young females. We're up to 39. That's still 10 to 20 fish shy of what I'd like to have. So what we're going to do first is uh, take a look at our breeder, uh, two breeder males and take a look at females and we're going to do a beauty contest on some males I set aside. Let's take a look at these two breeder males. What I go for in this line is the sky blue you see on this. Now both of those are nice fish and that's what we're going to be comparing these other males to. So let's look at the other males and then we'll uh, take a look at females. Okay, I've got Batch, batch males here. What I want to do is show you kind of the run of the mill and then see if any of these are you know, fish that we want to add to the breeding colony. I might add one one male. Let me wipe that glass off so we can take a better look at them. Okay, I like this guy. So I think we'll put him over here and take a look at him again. Anybody else close? That's an interesting fish, but not really as, you know, what I'm looking for in the sky blue, but I like that orange face on him. If I had more space, another greenhouse, Susie. Uh, Susie. But that little one in the corner is not bad. That one. That one, that's one I'm talking about. No, I know the one. That yes. one. No, that this Well, one? that one looks good, okay. too. Yeah, both, both those, those two are, are good. Those are all good fish, but I think I'm going to put this guy back in there and we'll see if we're going to, who we're going to pick here. Well, you know what? For a sky blue, that this guy... That one is the one I was talking the about on the bottom. The one in the middle or on the bottom? I was looking at the one on the bottom. But. Okay, we'll go with him. He's a new breeder. These others will get sold. Like I said, if I had more space, if Susie would agree to another greenhouse, I might go with that male and give him some females. Okay, so we're going to sell these seven fish. That's a nice big fish. I've thought about um, fish like this that are good, but we're not going to use. Uh, thought about setting up an auction uh, for them, but these will probably go to, that's a nice fish too, will probably go to our wholesale customers. Uh, we're not taking on new wholesale customers right now, uh, primarily because our production isn't up to where it should be after the winter storm. But we'll get there next year. Let me go ahead. Uh, so if you want to record seven males, I'm going to put these guys up so they're not stressed. And I'll keep talking while I walk down here to their vat. There's already, I don't know, 30 or 40 males in this vat. And we'll list, we haven't listed this fish for sale yet. Uh, but I'm going to, so uh, uh, wholesale customers will probably snap them up. Okay, so let's look at the three breeder males again. All three very nice. I'm trying to think, is this, I think this was a breeder male, this breeder male, this is one we just picked, I think. But they're all three really good. 
Okay, let's put them down then we're going to look at females and discuss what I look for in females. Oh, before we do that, let's look at one more. Let's talk about some genetics. Uh, dragon blood, the light body color in dragon blood is a, a, remarkably enough, a dominant allele. It's dominant to the wild gray body. Uh, those two breeder males we had obviously are carrying, uh, they're only, they're heterozygous for dragon blood. They're carrying the, the wild color and this is what the, uh, ones that don't have gold body colors uh, look like. I'm going to grow these two up. I really like the way they look. This guy's young yet. So is he. Uh, we got, let me go look at the chart. Out of the 193, 113 were gold bodied sky blue dragon bloods and 80 uh, were these darker fish. And like I say, I'm going to grow these up just to see what they look like when they get a little bit bigger. That's kind of a nice fish. Unfortunately, we've got a bunch of different blue fish. Right. But I want to see what they're going to look like. So what? how do I get rid of the blue and I only get sky blue dragon bloods? Well, if I were a hobbyist and had tank space, I would set up a test call. I would test each of my males with a gray female, with a non-light-bodied uh, female, because that female would be uh, homozygous for non-dragon blood, non-light-bodied. Uh, if the, all the uh, fish turned out to be dragon blood, all or offspring, I would know that that male is homozygous for dragon blood and would breed true. Uh, Obviously, in our 26 females and two males, uh, uh, looking at the ratio, we, uh, they're mostly heterozygous uh, for dragon blood. But anyway, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do those test cross. I don't have time. I don't have space. So what I'm going to do is uh, each generation add, uh, add a young male uh, and in a if next generation I get some really good meals, I may substitute all uh, all the youngsters. And just by chance, by changing out the females and changing out the males, the, the uh, ratio of uh, heterozygotes to homozygotes uh, uh, will decline and eventually we'll uh, get to the point where we don't have any heterozygotes and the, and the strain will breed true. In the meantime, we're going to get these off uh, these gray bodied fish that I'd say some of them are interesting. I'm going to play with them, grow them up, and see what they look like when they're big. Uh, so it'll take a few generations, but uh, and uh, it's a lot easier when we're up to full production and I can swap out a lot of females and males at one time. Right now, we're kind of constrained by uh, having lost our breeders in the winter storm and having to grow up new breeders. Okay, well, good fish keeping. You didn't talk about the females. Oh, yes. So do you mind me? Okay, let's take a look at the females. I pulled out four females to look at. And what I prefer is this, see this light body female compared to this uh, uh, orange female? This light body female, uh, that one's not too bad. Uh, and th that's really good. The light-bodied females, in my experience, throw the best sky blue males. Uh, the darker-bodied fish, like this one, uh, tend to uh, throw too much orange in the males, and it uh, interferes with the sky blue. Okay, so these will go with those three males to go to their 300-gallon breeding vat. And we'll see what they do this next time. Okay, now good fish keeping.